Hey everybody, so uh, I'm getting my order together to get everything that we need for our standing rigging so that we can get the mast up. But uh, before I did that, I wanted to know exactly what wire size we should order. Um, particularly because, well a lot of people have been telling me I should just go with whatever size was on the boat before. But uh, I just, I don't want to put my trust in anybody else like that. I, I want to really figure it out for myself to know that we have everything that we need to be strong in any kind of situation. Um, wherever we are. So, um, so I figured out, uh, I've got a book here that's been helping me out and I'll, I'll show you what I've been learning so far. Um, so I've been reading a lot of this book. It's, uh, The Rigger's Apprentice. And, uh, it kind of gave me an anxiety attack when I first started reading it because it brought me back to high school math, but, uh, I'm starting to get the hang of it. So over here is where you start. It's, um, a graph that shows you the riding moment, the average riding moment for boats of different, uh, length over the water. Um, so for Atticus, we're, uh, 24 feet over the water. You go up to the curve, and roughly that gives us 15,000 foot-pounds. Now, this is really generic, but it's at least a, it, it gets you on the right path for knowing uh, on average if you're doing the right thing or not. So we got 15,000 pounds for our riding moment, and here is the uh, calculation we're going to do. So our riding moment, and our riding moment at 30 degrees of heel is, is what that is. So you multiply that by 1.5, it's kind of a safety factor, and then you divide it by half of your beam, or more exactly the distance from the center line of the boat to your chain plates. Um, so I did that up here. So we've got 15,000 is the number I got out of that uh, graph. Multiply by 1.5 and divide by 4.7. That's the distance between the center line and the chain plates. You end up with this number right here, uh, 4,787. Um, then the next thing that you do is you multiply that by a factor of 2.5. And that's a safety factor right there. So this is technically what you need to be concerned with. But when you're talking about shock loading and everything else, you, you want to multiply it by a safety factor. And 2.5 is pretty generous from what the book says. So that rounds off to being about 12,000. Um, and uh, so at that point, uh, we take the 12, oh, and then I'll show you the next thing. So you've got 12, now we've got 12,000 pounds of force that we need to be able to deal with um, with the rigging. So here, uh, he gives a cool um, image of how you can spread the load between the shrouds. So in this instance, a single spreader rig, um, he's saying if you have double lower shrouds, uh, you do 32.5% of the total force can be dealt with by each shroud. And then with the single upper shrouds, you're going to want 45% of all that load to be dealt with by that shroud. So just for fun, we'll take the upper shroud, which is 45% of the load. So if we're going to do 45% of our 12,000 figure, that's going to be 5,400 pounds of force. Okay. Well... If we look at uh, wires and their approximate breaking load, if we find something that's close to 5,400, we're going to see that the closest thing here is 732nd because it's about 200 uh, or 300 pounds of force more. So 732nd is uh, what you're looking at for if that calcula calculation worked. And 732nd was exactly what the boat had on it uh, to begin with, which is kind of exciting that I was able to calculate that and it, and it worked out. And it, it proves that whoever did do the rig last did do a good job. Um, we are going to upgrade to a quarter inch, which if you look here, um, a quarter inch is uh, the next step up from 730 seconds. Um, it's, it's just the next step. Uh, you're getting uh, roughly 1,500 pounds of force more out of each wire. So anyway, we decided to just go up one more, um, and that's what we're going to do with all of these shrouds and stays for the main mass, and then we did our own calculations for the mizzen. So, yeah, it was a kind of a stressful day today. I'm not used to doing this kind of, doing math uh, when trying to refit the boat, at least this kind of math, but it was fun, and it was cool that we can have some sense of security about... Uh, about the sizing of our rig instead of just depending on uh, on other people's advice. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. All right, catch you guys later.